I was thinking about how how a person becomes under the influence or possession of a demonic entity. And I figure first, without Christ, then anything demonically is bound to happen because the heads of protection, the anointing, the calling is in there. But at the same time, I don't know the Father in Heaven's um, plan for anything. I don't know. I don't profess to know anything. I ain't prophesying none of that. It's just my thought process to put out there. And two minds is better than one. And if you have way more than two minds, bring your ideas together, then we can probably piece something together and make something more uh, better for us to go off of thought process wise. You know, like it takes a village to raise a kid, right? Exactly. So I figure with my lifestyle, they're around the targeted individual, repeating the same thing. Oh, he a target. Oh, he a mark. Or they hit their nose. You understand? They scratch their head. The colors they have, black and gray. Or black and white. Black and white mixed together, crayon-wise, it comes out with the color gray. They're around with red cars, orange cars, like burnt orange cars. You know, things of that nature. That's just to say that some people who may think that I'm some type of agent or something like that it ain't the case it ain't the case at all yeah i got black and gray on with red on but that don't mean i'm some damn agent you understand what i'm saying so anyway um the next point is um and i can actually see my own light you know what i'm saying not like another person that's in darkness would but i'm able to see like the fire you know and like stars something like spinning real fast around you know, but anyway, you know, that's why I feel like it takes a traumatic situation for a person to be possessed, well, under influence. And then once, the, once a parent breaks the spirit of a kid, plays with the, the kid, but there's a lot of them gay, right? Or bisexual and hiding it and just under the influence of lustful activity, right? So that don't necessarily mean they're around fucking or having sex with everything, walking, you know what I'm saying? Not everybody, at least. But they're most definitely under the influence of the modern entities, which would be the Jezebel, Succubus, Incubus, or whatever the case may be. And, like I say, it takes a traumatic situation for the person to get to that point. You know, because they aim at the heart of breaking the heart. If they can get in your heart and hurt your feelings, have you in a relationship with somebody, you love them or whatever the case is, knowing that person is only there to break your heart, to try to break your spirit, that's what they, that's what they in for. And once that person do that, the person is already probably messing around or just an agent working solely to break your spirit so they can kill you in the long run. Because if you a kid, you got to a point of being a target, you better believe they try to kill you so many times. They try to sit three different pit bulls on me here in Chicago when I was in the Rosen area. Couldn't, they couldn't come close to me. I used to sleep in my car before. They tried to, um, woke up to a guy in the passenger seat, door closed, God was showing me that it wasn't my pistol or anything else getting me through that. It was him because he paralyzed me, how they say, the devil rides your back. I was under like some type of paralysis, but I was just able to see this guy's in my car, you know. Went back to that same spot the next night, the rear passenger door was open. So I'm like, okay, I, I kind of get the point now, you know. You know, can wide open like that, okay, yeah, of course. But now, also, again, live in Rosen area. Somebody put a 9mm clip of seven bullets in there. I had a 32 special inside my gun box. So, yeah. So, that right there, that fear, if I let that fear get to me and I go around and fear and completely shut down my faith in the higher power, you know, then they would have been able to kill me. Because they put the tools that to, to try to get me to turn from God and go into fear in them instead of fearing our Father in Heaven, you know? So I'm guessing maybe that's the way that they do it, so that's why they reach kids at an early age. They mess them over at 